Hi there, my name is Stein Niesen of the Feline Diabetic Remission Clinic and Senior Lecturer at the Royal Veterinary College in London. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about the Diabetic Clinical Score. We spoke in the past about using a blood glucose curve to evaluate how well a diabetic pet is doing. We also spoke about fructosamine. But above all, it is important to look at the clinical picture. Because all these glycemic parameters, which are parameters that we can look at in the blood that reflect how much blood sugar there is, all of these parameters can lie to us. They can lie to the pet owner, they can lie to the pet, uh, pet veterinarian. So what is really important is that we pay attention to the main clinical signs of diabetes mellitus. And those are increased drinking, increased urination, increase in appetite and weight loss. Um, and those are the ones that we try to communicate as well to each other as possible. So your vet, if you have a diabetic pet, will have to ask you every single time you talk about the diabetes of your pet, all those questions that ask after how much your cat or dog is drinking or urinating or eating, and they will check the weight carefully as well. Now, because you don't always see the same vet and because not always the same pet owner will attend the veterinary practice, it is better if we also try to be objective in uh, giving the information to each other. And that's why we at the Royal Veterinary College have developed a very simple tool to help us communicate to each other. And that is called the RVC Diabetic Clinical Score. Now, what does it mean? It basically simply means that we are going to score the main clinical signs that are associated with diabetes mellitus. And those are increased drinking and urination, and we vets call that polyuria and polydipsia. That is basically vet speak for increased drinking and urination. Then we've got polyphagia, again a vet speak for increased in appetite. And then we've got uh, weight changes, and finally, we also have activity or attitude. Activity or attitude. Very good. So these four parameters need to be assessed for us to give a good story to the vet in telling them how well the diabetic pet is doing. And then we can score it a 0, 1, 2 or 3. Now, if our diabetic pet is drinking more and urinating more, and that is really severely the case, then we will score our pet a three for that particular parameter. If our diabetic pet is not drinking more, is not urinating more, then this pet will score a zero for that particular parameter. The same for the increase in appetite, so polyphagia. If our pet is only mildly showing more appetite, we will be talking about a one, for that particular clinical signs. If that pet is shown severe increases in appetite, we would once again talk about a three. In terms of weight, weight loss is one of the key clinical signs of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Once again, we try to score that from zero to three. So zero, there is no weight loss whatsoever. One, there's weight loss less than 5% of the original body weight. So less than 5%. If we're talking about weight loss between 5 and 10%, then we would be scoring a 2. So that would be moderate weight loss. If we've got more than 10% weight loss, then we're talking about severe weight loss. And then finally, activity. This is just the way an animal behaves itself. Is it chirpy? If, if it's active, if it's normally behaving, then that would be a zero. That's a good thing. If an animal is severely under the weather, just not doing right at all whatsoever, it would be a three. Now with this system, at each visit that you take your diabetic pet to the vet, you can tell them what the scores are for these four parameters which are crucial in assessing whether or not a diabetic pet is doing well. And the total score, if things are really going badly, would be four times the worst score, which would be 12. If a diabetic pet is doing great, we would only score zeros. And any variation could occur in between. Now, the advantage of using this system is that we will get to talk as vets and owners to each other about the main clinical signs, and those will determine how we interpret the blood test results as well. 
We'll put some more information about the diabetic clinical score as well on the website, but hopefully this makes sense. Again, it's mainly focused on getting us vets communicating better with the diabetic pets and getting the best possible results for diabetic pets across the globe. And that's what we're doing for. It is not easy to treat a diabetic pet, but it is extremely re re rewarding. So thank you very much for your attention and hopefully see you soon.